everyone. Sorry it's been a little bit since we've put out a video. We've had a crazy few months and between pushing hard north, a little bit of a mental health funk, and an unexpected injury, filming has not been a high priority. Rather than piece together mediocre videos from spotty footage over the last three and a half months, we've decided just to do a recap. And we're gonna start fresh next week with our New England adventures. So here's what we've been up to for the last few months. Let's go all the way back to April when we finally left Indian Town Marina with our brand new engine. We turned east and finished up the Okeechobee waterway and started heading north on the Atlantic ICW. Just a few short days later in Vero Beach, we rode out one of the craziest storms we've ever seen, with gusts up to 55 knots. to Georgia in less than two weeks and once again enjoyed the winding salt marshes. We also got some sailing in while we're at it. South Carolina gave us a free Blue Angels air show and some really beautiful sunsets. We explored Georgetown, South Carolina, and spent a week in Myrtle Beach working on some boat projects. May reminded us why we don't travel on the ICW on Saturdays as we came through the insanely crowded Myrtle Beach on Saturday but we had new friends to do it with. Hey, Pivot. Start it up. We got some quality time on the sand at Carolina Beach. We mucked about at the Rachel Carson Reserve in Beaufort before enjoying a week of peaceful cruising in Northern North Carolina. We stopped to try the famous Coinjock Prime Rib. Before completing our first overnight passage from Norfolk, Virginia to the Y River in Maryland. to fall out of bed in the middle of the night and I bruised myself up pretty badly. We spent the first three weeks of June working on boat projects, including a full enclosure, but we were too busy to film it. 
and the weather was so unsettled, we decided to take a road trip up to Maine to see family. I came back to the boat and started north solo, while Gwen rested an injured elbow in Maine. I had great conditions on the Delaware Bay and hopped my way up the New Jersey coast to the New York the first of july had me dodging ships and current in the East River on my way to Long Island Sound. With a tropical storm on the way, I hid out in Port Jefferson, New York and prepped for Elsa to pass. As the weather cleared for Andy on Long Island, I started prepping to get back to the boat after a month away, which required renting a U-Haul, but I made it back and Aiden was so excited to see Andy. And now we're at the southern end of the Cape Cod Canal, getting ready to hop up to Maine for the rest of the summer. We are so excited to show you one of our favorite places in the whole world, and we think that our break is going to mean that we're coming back with even better videos. And we'll see you next time.